with the recent release of the newest iteration of Beyblade X, otherwise known as Beyblade UX. In today's video, I'll be reviewing my LEGO version of Beyblade UX01, Dran Buster. So here are all the parts of the bay, including the blade, ratchet, and bit. Starting off, we have the blade, which is Dram Buster. And the first thing you notice here in the center, we have a nice decal of the Dram Buster motif taped onto a 2x2 tile. Much like the regular Dram Buster, this version here has a lot of plates and slopes that all angle towards one contact point here, which is much like a sword. Now what this singular attack point does is it gives the bay major attack power and makes it slightly unbalanced. As far as the color scheme goes, there is a really nice light blue and dark blue base. And as you can see here, by removing one of the sides, this was accomplished by putting some dark blue transparent tiles over some purple tiles. In addition, I also used this transparent blue Nexo Knight piece to add a nice touch to the blade. Now moving on to the ratchet, this is 160. Now this ratchet here is much like all of my other ratchets except it has one singular protruding side compared to all the others. This one here is meant to align with the little sword contact of Dran Buster and it also makes the bay slightly unbalanced. Overall it rocks a very nice transparent blue and solid blue color scheme. Last but not least we have the bit which is a cell. Now this bit is very similar to the one that's found on Duran's sword as it has a very flat contact to the stadium. But the main difference from this bit to the flat bit is that it has a much larger gear piece so that in theory it would be a lot faster on the X stadium. And so to replicate this in LEGO, I simply use one of these large rubber tire pieces since it looks somewhat like a gear. All together, here we have my completed LEGO Duran Buster. Now the only thing left to do is a test spin. Now time for a test spin with Dram Buster in the Hasbro Pro Series Stadium. And with that done, that is going to conclude my review. I always get so pissed when he does a review video and doesn't include any battles. Like, I just want one! Fine. So to end this review off, let's battle Dram Buster against Night Shield. And with that done, that is going to conclude my full review of my LEGO Dram Buster. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!